Today we're going to talk about numbers. We did a lot of counting on our blue chart. Today we're going to count on the blue chart and we're going to count by twos. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Do you remember what we call those numbers when we can count two, four, six, eight, ten? 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. All of those numbers are our even numbers. We're going to talk about that today. If we take a look at the table, I have a whole bunch of coins spread out. Let's try and remember what these are. Pennies. Let's push all the pennies over to the side. All right, what do we have left? We know these little ones are the dimes. Let's move our dimes over here. Do I have any more dimes? I don't see any. We know what these are. These are our nickels. Let's push all the nickels over here. So we have pennies. We count these by ones. Let's count how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pennies. Eight cents. How many dimes do we have? One, two, three, four, five. And we know that because we can look at a group that's shaped just like that and we automatically know, like a dice, that's number five. What about our nickels? One, two, three, four, five, six. We could line those up like the dots on a dice too. There we've got six. Okay, let's go back and let's count these. So we know how many cents we have in each pi each pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a line of eight pennies. Let's count our nickels next. How much are nickels worth? Five cents. Let's count them. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Thirty cents for nickels. How many? How much money for our dimes? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 50 cents for our dimes. They're each 10 cents. Okay, now let's look at these coins. We talked about these a little bit before we couldn't come back to school together. These are our quarters. They're bigger than nickels. They're bigger than dimes but they're the shiny silver color. Remember the pennies are copper color. So our quarters have an eagle on one side and they have George Washington, our first president, on the other side. So these are quarters. Can you remember how much a quarter is worth? 25 cents. All right, we're not going to worry about how much money we have right now. I want to talk about those even and odd numbers like we just did on our hundreds chart. We're going to line up our quarters and see if every quarter that's laying here has a partner. So those two can be a pair, there's a pair, another pair, another pair, a pair, there are two, pairs are always twos. Oh, we have one quarter without a partner. Let's look again. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. One left over. So if I were going to share my quarters with somebody, would we each have the same number? If I gave part of these to Julia and I kept part, one of us would have one more. If Levi got one line and I got one line, one of us would have one more. If Landon would share them with Daisy, one of you would have one more. And Parker and Isaac, if you shared these quarters, you'd have one left, one more for one of you, unless you took that quarter away and gave it to Mom. Then you'd each have the same number. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's figure out some more even numbers. 
Okay, if I take that pile of quarters, is that going to be an even or an odd number? Let's put them in partners and we can find out. There's a pair, there's a pair, and there's a pair. When things have a partner, they're in a pair, like a pair of shoes, a pair of socks, or a pair of mittens. Everybody has a partner. So we have six quarters. That's going to be an even number. Let's take a look at this. If I have, I don't even know how many I have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Let's think about the number twelve. It's a one, two. It ends with a two. It ends with an even number. So is twelve even? Let's see if we can give everybody a partner. There's a pair and a pair and a pair. Everybody has a partner. How many pairs do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six pairs, six pair is an even number. That would be 12. Let's count them. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 12 is an even number. Everybody has a partner. All right, let's take some of these out again, and let's see what we have. Okay, even or odd. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Even or odd? 7. I think you know. Let's line them up in partners and see. There's a pair. And look at this. We have three pair and one left over. So six quarters have partners and one doesn't. So seven is an odd number because there's not a partner for everybody. If I brought in one more, now we have a total of eight. Eight is going to be an even number because nobody is left out. So there we have even and odd. That's a refresher. We've had that many times we do that in our calendar books. Are you still doing your calendar book? So there we have it. But you know what? Let's just look at these quarters one more time and not talk even and odd. Let's talk quarters. Okay, we have our quarters. And you know every quarter is 25 cents. Let's try counting these. 25, 50, 75, 1 dollar. That's how we count our quarters. 25, 50, 75, 1 dollar. And if we look up here in the wall, there we've got it. 25, 50, 75, 1 dollar. All right, those are our coins, even and odd. I'm going to have a storybook for you called Even Stephen and Odd Todd. I hope you like it. See you later.